Alright, welcome back for another video. Uh, last time, in the previous video, we looked at how to install Video Download Helper extension in Firefox, and we used it to download this uh, video here from Pixabay. Um, but what do you do, you know, what happens when that doesn't work? Uh, because there are going to be some websites, at least, where you try that and it fails. Uh, for example, we've got Twitter over here, and, you know, maybe this is actually a more helpful uh, use case for saving videos anyways because it's much more likely that someone could just come in and you know delete this Twitter post here tomorrow or something and you know you'd be like well I lost this super cute deer baby animals sleeping video and that sucks because I really wanted to save it forever and ever uh, so what do you do so so for example say you wanted to save this video that you found on Twitter here so uh, with Video Download Helper, if you're on a site like Twitter or something, there's going to be a lot of results that it finds, so it's easier to actually click on the post that you want to save. That way it just, uh, you know, focuses just on this content of this post here. So, um, so you can see right up in the corner here, the icon is grayed out. It doesn't have the colors. So if you click on it, it says no media to process in the current tab. So it hasn't found any videos yet. You can see here it says click play on video to help detect files. So that, you may come across that on other websites as well. Um, it might not be able to automatically detect content until you actually hit the play button on the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. And we can see the video starts to play. I'm just gonna click it again to pause it. And we can see here, up at the top, it turned with the colors, it, it stopped being grayscale and the color showed up. So that's your visual indication that it found something on that web page. So as soon as I click the play button, it was able to detect it. So I'll go ahead and click that there. And this is the only entry that it found. Uh, it's in uh, 720 by 1280 uh, resolution, um, you know, vertically oriented, which uh, means that it was most likely captured with a cell phone. Um, and so you can see the different, this is a different type here, it's HLS streaming, the other one was Dash streaming. Uh, most of the time that doesn't matter, but in some cases it does. Uh, so here, if you go ahead and do, it's like, you know, if you follow the instructions that we put in the last video, and you say, okay, well, I learned how to use my video download helper extension, and I'm supposed to just hit this download button right here, and it should save it, and you can see, okay, it's showing up, just like normal, and you go in here, and you click on this and you say yeah that looks good it's downloading the video right and then this happens it says with a red number next to it and it says errors and you can see there's a red number up here trying to get your attention so if you click on that red number it'll say all this information is telling you the video name that you tried to save and it says mp2t which i'm not sure what that is but that doesn't really matter it says the important part here is the no data received and if you go into the details it'll tell you that it couldn't find it anything like that so basically this failed to download this video uh, so you can watch it but but video download helper was not able to save it properly on your system um, and you'll find that's the case for every video on twitter and there are some other websites as well where, you know, despite Video Download Helper's best attempt and efforts, there are certain things that, uh, you know, prevent it from performing its, its you know, desired functions and everything. So, um, and there, in the past, there were a couple of different ways you could do this, and most of those, you know, specifically for Twitter, is a little bit problematic with it. Um, uh, but most of the older directions, they don't work anymore um, at this at the time of recording. Uh, but there is one way around it that I was able to find. So, so what do you do when you you know it's like oh man, I really can't live life without these baby deers saved on my computer that I can watch forever and ever, even if someone comes along tomorrow and deletes this whole account or this post or anything. Which obviously that's not going to happen, but. Uh, but, you know, it, that's the idea behind it. It's like you want to have a copy of this saved and Video Download Helper can't do it, apparently. Uh, so so what you need to do in cases like this is get a uh, separate little piece of software installed. I've got it right over here. It's called 
YT-DLP, which is short for YouTube, and I don't know what the DLP part is about, but it's, uh, again, we're on GitHub again here. If you saw the uh, previous video with the Download Helper Companion app, with this, this YT-DLP uh, software is also here on GitHub. It says this is a YouTube DL fork with additional features and fixes. So. Uh, YouTube DL was a you know similar software to this that you know uh, historically was around, but now it's kind of defunct and it's been um, you know, but th but there's been this this group that's come along and said okay we're going to take that functionality and you know keep going with it and maintain it and everything. So I mean you can see down here uh, what it is. It says it's a YouTube DL fork based on the now inactive YouTube DLC. The main focus of this project is adding new features and patches while also keeping up to date with the original project. So basically they are carrying the torch of you know what has come before them. Um, and you can get all the you know a whole bunch of features and, and everything you can learn all about this uh, as you wish on here. Uh, but basically you want to get this going on um, on your system. And you can see here again on the side we've got releases so go ahead and click that uh, now again if you are on uh, you know Windows systems and things like that you're going to want the exe file version uh, since I'm on Linux I've got the Linux one um, all set up and so how you use this one it's really uh, is the uh, terminal again we've got we've got the terminal here so so it's very simple on Linux um, very simple to use so here's really all you have to do with this you, you type in yt dlp with the hyphen and then a space and then you want to do two quotation marks so it's like a double quotes right there uh, so that's how you start it um, and then what you actually want to do go back to your video where you you know wanted to save it and you're still going to need video download helper extension to do this uh, in most cases there's other ways you can do it but this is a really easy way um, you know that that's still pretty convenient and still makes use of your normal uh, extension that you'd be using to save videos. So, and so if you click on it, instead of clicking this download button here, uh, next to it you can see this arrow. And when I put my mouse over it, it kind of highlights it in a gray to you know sort of get your attention. If you click on that, it gives you some options besides just the quick download for default. Um, if you go down here to where it says details and you click that, you'll see it pulls up a whole bunch of information about the video that it found, um, including a really stretched <laughs> thumbnail image there. But um, what you want to pull out of this is this line here that says master manifest. Uh, so if you go ahead and highlight that, the whole text of it, right click on it, go to copy, and then back in your terminal window so this is what you wrote from before and what you would do is you can see the blink cursors on the end you want to actually to go in between the two quotes so you can either um, you know backspace with the you know the backspace key paste in the master manifest there and then add the quotation on the end but what I generally like to do instead of that is just use the left arrow key to go back one space so that way it's back one and then if you right click and you choose paste you can see that master manifest line that uh, URL there has been inserted inside the quotes you can see the first quote is here and the second quote is there so that's really all you need to do yt hyphen DLP a single you know a double quote to open it paste in the master manifest from the details and then another double quote to close it and then if you just hit enter it will work its magic at this point and it will be able to download that video for you even though it wasn't able to using just the normal extension and when that's complete if that's the only video you want to save you can just go ahead and close your terminal otherwise you can you know leave it open and keep running more yt dlp you know and whatever your new master manifest is if you have multiples and then you can see here it saved this file as a whole bunch of gibberish letters and characters you can obviously rename that to something you know more appropriate but um, but you can see right there there's the video that it was able to save of the deers that you you know 
that it was having trouble with uh, just the video download helper extension by itself so um, so try this method if you know if you you've got some troublesome sites that even video download helper can't you know deal with um, but that extension is going to be able to work on its own just fine for you know the huge majority of websites that you that you try to use it on but but if you're on Twitter or you know something else some other website that's a little bit more particular about it you can try this alternate method and it should work for almost every site that you would come across so hopefully that was helpful for you and thanks for watching the video